Members of the opposition movement of change are protesting at the way the two ruling parties are leading discussions on the bill. The opposition says so far the budget has been discussed behind closed doors and taken by the two ruling parties, the Kurdistan Democratic Party, led by the president of the semi-autonomous region of Kurdistan, and the Patriotic Union of Kurdistan, led by the Iraqi president, Jalal Talabani. In the previous years, the budget of Kurdistan was unchecked and monopolized by a handful of politicians of the two main parties of Kurdistan. We will never tolerate this anymore. This budget is people's money, and they have all the right to know how it is spent. The change movement, locally known as Goran, that won 25 seats in the regional parliamentary elections in 2009, is the most popular opposition in Iraqi Kurdistan. Supporters of the movement are mainly those who are discontented with the two ruling parties due to alleged nepotism and widespread corruption in the region. This is for the first time I feel we have a real and active parliament in which the concerns of the people are brought to the fore. Of course, all of this should be attributed to the change movement. I believe what they did in the meeting over the budget was historic. The newly appointed regional prime minister, Barham Saleh, who has promised to bring reform to Kurdistan, handed over the $9.6 billion budget bill to the parliament on January 20th, but lawmakers started discussing it Monday. According to the Kurdistan regional government's website, this year's budget deficit is estimated to be some $708 million U.S. dollars. The parliament speaker has tried to give everyone in the House three to five minutes to talk on the bill, but the opposition walked out saying this was an attempt on the part of the ruling parties towards less transparency. Iraqi elections, which are to be held March 7th, are fast approaching. The latest uproar by the change movement is seen here by many as an effort to win more votes and project a clean image of the movement. Cynthia Shanahan, Press TV.